definitely a bit nose heavy there. Right, fairly dramatic bit of weight reduction I've just done there. Chopped most of the fuselage off and taken the weights out that were underneath. Because it's possible that I've got the motors at the wrong angle, so it's tilting it down rather than up. So I may go and re glue them. I've adjusted the thrust line on the propellers or on the motors slightly, see if that makes any difference. Well, clearly I haven't got it right yet because as you can see it's very tail heavy and yet under power it's not pitching up and stalling so I must have those propellers angled wrong. Okay, I've changed the angle of attack of the propellers again. I think I may just have to completely reposition them. It may be they are ineffective sitting up on top of the wing there. A fair bit of modification. Most of the fuselage has been trimmed away. The big fins have gone. The motors are straight on the very back of the wing. But I have had to add a bit of weight on the front again to balance it. So I'll just try it as a glide so that's a fairly level glide so we'll charge up the capacitor and see what happens Well, that didn't really seem to be powering off, did it? Because I'm only using a 2.7 farad capacitor and it wouldn't surprise me if these are expecting at least 3.7 volts if they normally work off a LiPo battery. So I'm probably underpowering it. I'll give it another go though. Well, I don't reckon they're actually having any effect whatsoever. Mind you, because it's tail heavy, I could put a second supercapacitor on there and double the voltage and see what happens then. <laughs> 